Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. A question recently came in about the location field um, for my listing websites. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video to go over that. Um, so to do that, I'm, I'm here on a sandbox site. This is where I do all my testing for uh, my listing and do these videos. Um, so uh, this is unrehearsed. I, I don't even think I have a location um, set up for this particular listing type we'll be looking at. So we'll be doing this all from scratch uh, as we speak. Um, so, all right, so let's go ahead and get into that. Uh, so we, let's go to our dashboard. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, listing type. We're gonna edit our services listing type. And then let's go to our fields. And we see that we've only got a title field in there. So let's drop in the loca location field and we'll edit that. And it's just like any other field you've ever edited with with my listing, so you can set that up as desired. But specifically for this, we want to look at, you know, like the map skin. So I've created a um, custom map skin. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that. Um, the default map location, map location. So, you know, by default, my listing will show it in London. Uh, so you might want to, I recommend you adjust it to just show the default place on a map. Um, so like, uh, I'm here in the United States, so I like to set it to the center of the United States, for example. Uh, so that shows. And then to also aid in that, you, you put a default map zoom in. So you kind of can show a consistent zoom level. All right, so we'll just leave that there for now. Uh, we'll go to the how this is going to look on the front end. So we have to adjust the single page. And we go to content and tabs for that. Edit the profile tab or whatever tab you want to drop the um, location field or location block into. Uh, okay, so we're gonna drop the location block in there by clicking on it. We're gonna click on it again to edit it. Um, just wanna choose a consistent map skin. So I'm gonna choose the same one I picked before for the field. Choose a consistent zoom level. And put an icon in there if you want, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then jump over to preview card quick view and just make sure the map skin is consistent there. Jump over to the search forms. So this is gonna be configuring our explore page. Uh, so this is on the advanced tab of the search form area. Uh, so we're gonna drop in our location search field. We're gonna click on it to edit it. And that looks good. We're gonna drop that above the order by. We want the order by to be at the very bottom. Um, to go along with the location, we need the proximity. So we want to drop that in and this needs to be right under the location field. That's important. So location and then proximity. Click on the proximity and depending where on where you are in the world, change the units to match your measurement wherever you are. Here in the US, we use miles. So I set that. Step size, this is how many um, miles are going to be reflected when someone moves the slider. So I want it just for fun, we're gonna say, every time I move the slider to the right or left, it's gonna adjust five or negative five miles. Uh, maximum value, uh, you can play with that, if, however you need to there, but sometimes how I like to look at it is if the, if, the, if the search area is, you know it's, sometimes I know that a particular state here in the US is, I've looked it up as like, let's say, I don't know, just throwing a number out there. 700 miles wide, um, you know, you could set this at 700 because you're never, you're never going to need to go outside of the state width. Um, or you can do if the state is like a super long state, maybe you want to, maybe it's a, a thousand miles long, or whatever, just throwing a number out there, then you can set it to a thousand. So set it to the highest number. No one's ever going to search outside of that. Okay, so that keeps them within the size of the state or whatever you're searching by. And then the default value, uh, we'll just set this to five. This is just the default proximity that the person is going, that's doing the search is going to be in relation to the listing location, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and save our changes there. Let's go edit a listing. So this is one of our services listings. Um, we're gonna put in Let's put in that address that's already in there, Charlotte Park. So that's uh, Charlotte, North Carolina in the US. We're gonna save that. And then 
let's jump over to our explore page and uh, so by default we haven't done any filtering at all so it's going to have all of our listings in there uh, so our service services listing comes up there so if we jump over to our location search let's just type in uh, my address or whatever uh, let's see if charlotte will work um, so let's just pretend my address was charlotte drive charlotte north carolina Okay, so we're saying from my address within five miles, um, these people are, are located. Um, so if I just choose like another, uh, let's say South Carolina, uh, I was, we'll choose this Pineville location here. Oh, it's still coming up. Um, See, let's do um, lake. Let's do a lake. Okay, there we go. So as we see, in relation to my address, hypothetical address here, within five miles, proximity five miles, there are no listings that match that. So if I start moving the slider to the right, you see it jumps by five, 10, 15, et cetera, et cetera. So boom, we now hit, we've hit our first listing that matches that location. Okay, that's how it works. Uh, um, not too much to it, but uh, if you've never done it before or um, it's been a while, uh, you can see how uh, you might need some help setting this up. All right, thanks guys. Let me know if there's any further questions. Bye-bye.